this is Victor. I'm here with a new um, tutorial, and this time I'm going to paint this type of slaughter priest from the uh, warband on Warhammer Underworlds. Okay, so as you can see, I have him separated from the base. I'm painting the base separately. Sorry, I already started on the base, and I will not cover it in this video. I will focus mainly on the um, on the miniature itself. So I'm going to start applying. I'm going to start with the cape because it's the most difficult axis, and I will do as well the front tower. And I will start applying flesh steer. So uh, the paint job I'm going to look for is um, red clothes, dark skin, and very dark metal armor. Okay, and I will apply this. I will start from this part. That is the most difficult access part. Okay, let's apply this on the cape. Try not to miss anything. And I will do the rest of the cape as well. Uh, there is a lot of uh, single details, uh, small details on the cape. I will try to avoid to paint over them, but the priority here is to have a nice and uniform, well, not uniform, but a nice and even coat of red, right? So we want to give priority to have uh, the red nicely applied. Important to do it before assembling or at least before putting into the base. And if you want to have even more access, maybe it's even better to put it before assemb to do this before assembling because it's going to be quite difficult access in some points. As you can see, there are a lot of like of hooks and like ornaments hanging from the cape. So I will try to avoid to go over them because then I have them more visible to paint them later on. Okay, and I will do as well the front tabard in the same red. Okay, this part. So I will do all this and I'm back once it has dry. Okay, next step I'm going to use lead belcher on the armor. We are going to just let me zoom out a little bit. Just and we are going to apply lead belcher on all the armor plates, on the golden parts of the, the rivets that I will do in brass, I will do, will try not to paint them, but the important is that we paint everything. And I'm doing this one because you can see there is some parts that are quite difficult access, so it's better to do them now than later. Okay, the chain, and then there are these type of things that will do as well in. so I'm going to do all these parts in lead belcher and I'm back for the next step okay next step I'm going to go for the skin and as I said I want to do a dark skin so I'm going to use Gorg Vunta and I'm going to apply this on all the skin parts Here again, we need to go under these things. And we need to remember that there is some, I think that he's not wearing anything under the armor. So we do. little part visible of the legs okay. we're going to do as well the face and all the different skin parts okay so Again, we try to apply it in a way that is not pulling too much. So I will not call it just a thin coat because you want to, to create the shade effect. But try not to put too much paint. So you 
don't want to clock details neither. The advantage of, of normally the contrast paints is they are quite thin. So you need to put really a lot to clock details. But if you put too much it will not do the effect. It will pull and will do will leave stains, right? And if you put too little you will not do too much shading. So you have to find the balance. You can see here I went a couple of times just because I want to create just shade. And you can see on the face have a nice a nice shade as well. Can remove a little bit if there is um, too too much pain. And when there is not enough, I put a little bit more. Okay. And I will do the arm and everything like that. And I will wait at this device and I'm back. Okay, next step, I'm going to apply Ragley Grim on the armor. So I'm going to start from the top. And it's because I want to give this very dark look to all the metallic parts. And now I'm going to do it on the armor parts. If I go a little bit over the part that I want to do later on on gold, I will not be too much concerned. But the important thing is we cover well all the metal parts. We have a nice this is why I'm doing this now because um, um, there are some parts that are going to be difficult to access like these ones here so you want to do this before you glue it I mean you, you do the other parts <coughs> because you will dirt and the, the parts are more exposed okay? so I'm going to do this on all the different metallic parts then we wait at this device and I'm back for the next step. Okay, next step I'm going to use it's V88 on the belts and different uh, leathery parts that we have in the miniature. Again, I'm doing this because these are hidden parts and I want to be sure that these are done. Okay, you can see these are some belts there, very hidden. I want to ensure that they are done properly. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to check if there are there are some other um, and I'm going for a light leather to have some contrast with the skin. Okay? So I'm going to do that and I'm back for the next step. Okay. Next step, I'm going to use retributor armor and now we are going to do all the golden parts. Okay? This will take some time because we are going to do all the Armor trimming, um, where we have all these type of ornaments here. Okay, we are going to do them all. <coughs> we are going to do as well the spikes on the head and all the parts that you want to decorate as a brass. Okay, remember that this is not the official colors of this workshop. I do my mm, blood bone always with this very dark armor with brass trimming. Okay, so we'll do the spikes as well. And I do it like 
that. And we are going to do as well all these spikes at the top and the symbols, okay? Not there is not much, and I will do as well the, this thing here, this ornament in the golden. So I'm doing all this on the middle, I'll do all the brass golden parts and I will be back for the next step. Next step I'm going to use um, regular flesh sheet and I'm going to apply it on the um, brass golden parts. Okay, so we're going to do that. I like to start from normally the head and going down, I will do the arms, the staff. I'm going to keep doing keep doing that on all the gold and I'm back. Next step I'm going to use seraphine sepia and I'm going to apply this on the bones that we did. Okay. So I'm going to do this and apply it on the different bones. Like that, okay. We're going to do as well the schools, and as you can see, I did all the fans and ornament at the, at the back, so we are going to do it there as well. <coughs> Sorry, okay. So, you will do that, wait at this device, and I'm back for the next step. Okay, next step I'm going to start working on the highlights. We have done all the main washes and I'm going to start working on the um, skin tone. Okay? So, but before working uh, even on the skin, I will do the eyes. So I will take a very small brush and I will apply white inside of the eyes. A better brush than this one. Of the stuff in the way that is not helping. Okay, I went to high. Okay. We'll take now. I will wait the device first. We will do the other eye. This one is much easier. So I'm going to take now dark brown, a little bit more on my palette to have it fresh. 
So I'm going to use Rhinos Height as a deep shade. <coughs> just put a little bit on my palette. that I'm going to make it smaller something like that now I'm going to use black is Corvus Black. I'm going to apply it like that. Some white now because it went too much. I put too much black. Well, it's not easy to be fair. Again, black. Then go from the top is going to help. No, I think it's better. We're going to profile it a little bit with brown. And this is good. This is good. No, we're going to do all the teeth. Inside of the mouth, it's mainly teeth what we have visible. Like that. And now I'm going to use this one, Death Claw Brown and Morphan Brown. Yeah, we'll use this and this color and with these two colors plus the Rhinos height we are going to do the skin tone just the, other, the morphine I already have it in my palette I need to mix it a little bit and it's ready to be used okay so let's start let's continue with the face so I'm going to use first the death claw and 
we're going to use some of the little readers guide. No, I will use the more from ground. soften a little bit the transition and apply now here more from ground and now that cloud again And I will use a little bit of Brillance height. Taking some water to make it a little bit thinner. And we're going to apply it there. And we're going to work as well the musculature on the arms. <coughs> so first I will use more from ground. So I want to clean up first the the biceps. Once I have it clean up, I'm using the death glow. To make this top a little bit lighter. Now we take move from round. You can even use a little bit of Reno's height if you want. I will use more from ground. And now we'll take a little bit of Brino's height. Make it move from ground. And I mix it with the death glow. And now we need the move from ground to help. Like that. Okay. I'm going to use again death glow. More fun. Okay, here we don't need. Again. We'll use first more fun here. I will with this device. And we keep working on those different highlights, so that cloud, the fingers. Now what I will do, I will need an even lighter color, so I will take a little bit of dry, dry, um, dry skin flesh. It's even a lighter orange. We can take even a little bit of Cadian flesh stone. Okay, we'll put some. I already have a spot in my palette where I put it. 
I will put some a little bit of cadmium flystone in my palette. Okay, so we'll need this extra highlight in some places. For example, on this part of the fingers. And now that this has dry, because it was quite, it's not working as, as I wanted, I will apply no more from round. This is too dark for my for what I'm working here. Okay, I will apply again that cloud. I will put on top the red skin. Same here, find red skin. Okay, and here on the top I will apply the dead cloud. Okay, do the same here, that cloud. Here, okay, and like that, I'm going to work the other arm and the torso, and I'm back. Okay, this is how the skin looks like, and I was realizing I missed to do uh, a shame wash on the belts, so I will do this and I will finalize here the this first part of the tutorial. So I'm going to apply a air shade here on these bells at the back, the legs. Okay, these are the ones that are holding the knee protection and the different legs, the leg protection. And I will need to apply it as well here on the inside. There's too much agar air shade. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, I will do this from the other side. And now I will finalize here part one. So keep tuned because I will do the second part where I will do the highlights on the rest of the miniature. But I hope up to this point you like it. Please give a like if you have liked what you have seen up to now. Share if you think that people can be interested in as usual. Thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye.